When you work with projects, you also work with components, and uh, sometimes your component is not in the database, and uh, that means that you might not know what kind of symbol you're going to use. You can look in the pig menu and not find anything relevant, or you can look in the symbol menu and the same, no, no relevant symbol. Then you can make your own symbol for this component. And uh, if you want to make a symbol, symbol then uh, simply use a symbol generator. Go to the symbol uh, command, as I did here, and use this symbol generator. With the symbol generator, you can generate a, a very simple symbol. You generate it by selecting a width or a height, and then you uh, select how many connections you want at the top and at the bottom. And uh, here I'm just making one with six connections, and uh, as you saw, I can create them by count. That means that one, two, and three will be at the top, and four, five, and six will be at the bottom. This symbol could be okay, uh, but um, if you want it to fit with the other symbols that you, uh, you're working with in the project, then you should go in and create a name list instead, and uh, uh, in that way you'd have the uneven numbers at the top, and you'd have the even numbers at the bottom, because that's uh, what all the symbols are, because you come in with your, um, um, with your supply or your signal on the uneven numbers, and then you go out to the next symbol on the even numbers. So do it this way and uh, in that way you are very quick to make a, a new symbol. What you also get when you use a symbol generator is that um, you get, as you see, a symbol uh, with a, a designation character. You can change that either in the symbol generator itself or, or you can change it here and then you can give uh, the component a name type the um, the type uh, type the um, the article number and uh, this um, in this way the, the the symbol will 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 work exactly the same way as all other symbols that we we have in the in the program and this is how you can make a very very simple symbol that will work in any um, any project. The um, uh, the symbol and uh, and uh, all the the text in this uh, this symbol here they are placed according to the standards that we use in Europe, and um, in this way it's very easy for you to 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 make um, a symbol to to use in any project. This symbol that I just created here was an electrical symbol. You can see I'm on the diagram pages. But sometimes you might have the, the component in the database, and what you need is a mechanical symbol. You see, I just went to the page here, which is GRP, a ground plane, or a mechanical page. On the mechanical page, we have scales, a scale factor, because this is where you place your mechanical layout, the panel layout. And you can use this um, uh, the, the symbol generator on this page as well. Go up here once again. See, it remembers the last one that I had. This time, call it a mechanical symbol, and if you want to have the, um, uh, the, the, the connection points here, you should go and place them inside the, the, the symbol, because otherwise you might conf be confused and say that the connections are for another symbol or for another component. But go in here and simply type that uh, this component, for instance, is 40 uh, millimeters wide and it's 70 millimeters tall, and see the result right away here. If it's for the same component, you could call it B, because this is where you have the designation character, and uh, go in here and place it somewhere uh, on the page here. It has the exact names, uh, or the exact uh, size as uh, the component has, and when you go in here and, um, and, and give it the same names as, as, as we did earlier, then it's the same component. So, if you only need very, very simple symbols, use a symbol generator and you can create your own electrical symbols and your own mechanical symbols in a very, very easy way.